Hey, hey. Alrighty. As soon as I haven't, um, haven't taken that thing out yet. Um, still haven't found a road. I better look around for a road for that thing. I need some nice, long, flat surface somewhere and I just haven't worked that out yet. I might go for a drive after work tomorrow. Try and uh, work something out. I really need to get that one done. Because as soon as that one's the speed run's done, I can transfer all those parts. So for now, we're going to give this thing a clean up. And um, yeah, I've also got a fair few bits for it as well. Yeah. So the last <clears throat> last few months, been getting some bits for it. Um, I've got a new uh, iKili, a new iKili V version two. Um, as soon as though the, as soon as though I'm putting the um, OBR motor in the lossy, I thought this has got a a temp gauge on it, and it shuts off if it gets too hot. And I thought, well, OBR is worth a few dollars, so better be safe than sorry with that thing. So I thought I'd get that. Um, Got uh, heavy duty, I think that's rear, the shock mounts, uh, got the front ones, the suit, blue wasn't really my favourite, wasn't really my preferred colour, but uh, I don't know, I sort of went cheap on it. Uh, also bought, I've already got the rears. The rear is uh, blue, so I thought I'd match up the front blue as well, and being alloy, so I went for that. Uh, I've got a replacement pull start for, I think it wasn't, it wasn't free, I think I had to pay half the price, so it owes me, I think it's $15. Because the other pull starts stuffed up, but I think that's due to them not mentioning that there's a um, there's sort of like a bolt that holds on uh, this piece to the flywheel uh, or just in front of the flywheel, so that engages. And they didn't say anywhere. Although I did put a little bit on there, but you meant to put some Loctite on it. Because if that comes loose, or if the bolt comes loose, uh, well, stuff's everything up, jams up, doesn't work. That's pretty much what happened to my other one. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, I got open uh, clutch belt carrier. Uh, but alone, because I'm going for a steel shoe, I thought um, i going for the steel one, so it's going to create a fair bit of heat, so I'm going to go all open. So as soon as I'm going open clutch belt carrier, I'm going to go open clutch housing as well, I'm just going to do a mesh mod on it, so that'll be good. Uh, to suit, I've got the mesh plate. Uh, I've got a homemade one, but I thought I'd get the, get the one made for this one. This I actually got real cheap with second hand. Uh, and included this one as well, which is a clutch bell, vertigo, which is the, the better setup with the hex on the end. Um, at the same time, I thought I've had a, a Jeep 
G320RC before and the last year and it was a screamer with the uh, with the stock 29, uh, 19 tooth pinion and I remember going to the 20 pinion and it was still screaming so I went to the 22 tooth pinion in doing so you need different spaces so I got that as well um, with some replacement drive cups these are 30 degree north drive cups I don't know if they're better or worse than the stock um, I just don't like the how they wear out so quick. So I don't know if I should, I don't know if these will be better straight out of the packet or should I maybe heat treat these? But then if I heat treat them, will they, will they break, and crack, shatter? It's sort of like a, yeah, not too sure. The ones in there aren't too bad yet, but yeah. Um, also got a servo brace to get rid of my homemade one I know there's the uh, what is it, armor RC one but this is a local one from uh, Aussie Hobbies that'll do the trick uh, what else and I don't know why I just I just like these um, I've got the MIP limiting straps I had this in my other lossy. I don't know, I think they're just a... I don't like the look of them and I find them better than just relying on the grub screw on the droop screw really um, yeah, the whole arm including the the hub carriers, all that weight on that droop screw, I don't know, it just doesn't seem right seems like a lot of weight so I thought I'd put that on Sort of get a bit of bling as well. A bit of bling. All these spiky nuts. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. And I'm not too sure of this yet. But I got a it's like a light bar for the top of the body. Now, this one's I think it's made out of steel, yep. steel and plastic, but I'm not putting it to the stock one. Uh, I've got um, a body second hand, pretty much in good condition. Oh, there was a couple little cracks in it, but nothing too major. So I got it, it's the uh, uh, graffle. Graffle, I don't know what type it is. Graffle uh, panels. Looks pretty mean. Um, also came with these little alloy mud flap holders. So yeah. Oh, he's back on his car again. That's what the noise is. So yeah, so this is the body I've got now. Um, since buying it, there's sort of, there's reviews on it. Some are good, some are bad. Uh, I've had the 30 degree north, uh, big flex, big flex body before and that was good. So I don't know how this will go compared to it but uh, it looks pretty mean I like it I like the look of this one so what I did just I don't know if it's gonna work out even by the looks of it there it doesn't look like it's gonna work out but I've um, I've got gorilla tape and I taped the hole inside of it 
So, I don't know if this stuff will last. I don't know if it'll make a difference. But, being such a nice, nice body, I'm going to try and give it a chance at least. It's got a crack here already. Um, I've got it with a crack. Um, got it with these nice uh, alloy little spaces or whatever you want to call them. But uh, yeah, this was done by the RC Body Shop. So yeah, so that's the body. So that, um, I don't know what it'll look like. So that's the girl on the roof. So I'll, I'll test fit it before I fit it, I guess. See what it looks like with and without. But um, yeah. So that's what's going on with this thing. So. So it's going to have a. It's going to have a big change in looks, this thing. Have a bit of a uh, upgraded look. So, not so much the rough look anymore. It's been looking pretty rough for a long time, and I thought, ah. Oh, when you don't get these out, you just tend to, well I tend to look at parts and look at second hand parts and now I can upgrade it, pretty cheap and that's what's happened. Yeah so, it's took me, uh, I don't know, two or three months I reckon, not a bit longer, to accumulate all this. But um, I can't do the, the motor transfer out of this thing yet because I want to do the speed run. So I've got to hurry up and do the speed run so I can transfer everything. So it's flat, is it? Okay, just leave it there then. Whew, that thing's flat, so that's good. Um. So yeah, so all I'll do now is uh, I'll clean this up. I'll actually probably strip it. Probably leave the front rear suspension in. And uh, yeah, strip the rest. Strip the rest, clean it, check it, and get it all ready. Maybe start fitting some of these parts on it. But the only thing I can really put on it is maybe the shock mounts. Nothing that all the motor stuff I can't really do. Oh, I can do the engine brace, that's a spare, and that, and that. So, all these other ones are for the motor, or driver line. Maybe just out. Oh, yeah, so I can see if I can fit all that stuff on there anyway. Alright, let's get to it.